Hello everyone. Thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll learn how we can able to add Excel sheet, shape file, and also duty file in Google Earth Pro. So I have a file which is having latitude and longitude. And also I have some locational information and these are some water level data is there. So what I'm interested, I'm interested in this latitude and longitude. If I have latitude and longitude of any place, I can able to add this file into our, Q, our Google Earth Pro environment. So how we can able to do that? Just save this file in CSV file format. So whatever you have the file, I have this file in uh, latitude and longitude with the, uh, with if you'll see this, this is in a dec decimal degree format. So I will save this file and just click on the file, then save as, and I will save here in this folder. So I will save this as a uh, CSV file format. Okay. So if you'll see here, this is already in CSV file format. So if I'll show you here, this is the CSV file format. So once we'll click on the CSV file format, I just need to save the name. Suppose I will save here as a Excel sheet. Okay, I'm interested to open this Excel sheet in uh, our QGIS environment. So just click on this save option. As I click on the save, the file is saved. So just let me go to here. If you'll see here, this is the our Google Earth Pro, I will just click on the file and open option is there. And from here, uh, just browse the folder where your data is saved. So my data is saved, same. So uh, again, I will go, I will show this how to go. So just click on the folder where you are interested means where da your data is saved. So my data is saved here, here, okay. So you are able to see the Excel sheet option is showing there. So if it is not showing there means it might be if you have selected some other file format. So if you'll select other file format, then it will not show here. So for Excel sheet, you need to select here means if you select the all data, you will see what are the data is available in that file or uh, what are the available data in that folder. So just need to click on this Excel sheet. What are the data we want to add? Just select an Excel sheet because we have converted into CSV file format. So just click on open. So once I'll click on the open, you will see here this uh, data import wizard is there and here you will see our data is there latitude longitude whatever the information was there it is added here so after that what we need to do we just need to go uh, we just need to go next okay and here we need to select a latitude and longitude but uh, it is automatically coming here latitude and longitude because i have taken this in the first two field if you have taken somewhere here then you need to add i think latitude and longitude here Okay, so this latitude and longitude is coming here. I will just click on the next. And this latitude, longitude, the format is showing here. The This is the by default it will take according to our data. Okay, so uh, now we just need to go and finish this. So this is saying, do you want to apply a style template to the feature you uh, ingested? So just click on yes. So here we just need to click on the OK. OK, create a new template. OK. And here if you'll see the automatic level data is coming here. Latitude, longitude. Just we need to go to the color. And if you want to give any color to here, you can choose what field you want to give color or use a random color. I will use a random color. From the icon, we can check means which icon we want. We can select that icon. And all the information is there. So what we uh, need to do, just need to click on OK. As I'll click on the OK, it will show where you want to save your template. So I will save in the same folder, uh, wherever folder is desired there. I will just click here and save. So see our Excel sheet is added here, .csv. So just need to click here. And so just when you'll open the properties and just we'll move it here to my data is from the Indian context. Okay. So here you will see this data is added here. Okay. So what are the latitude longitude we have selected? It is accurately added here. So we, how you will check this, it is accurately added or not. So from that, you can able to see the Excel sheet again. In the Excel sheet, we have selected the 18 and 79 is there mostly 17 or 79 is there. So if you'll check here, the lat long below, it is showing the same here, mostly 18 and 79, something like that. So if you'll see here, 
uh, in the Excel sheet, you will see the all the point which we have added here. All the point, these are the all the points you can able to see here we have added here. So this way we can able to add very easily. Uh, if you click here, you will get the information about that point mostly. If you click any point, you will see the information means this all the information whatever we have added. So this all the information you will see there. If if I will click any of this point. Okay, this way we can able to add the Excel sheet uh, very easily into our Google Earth Pro environment. After that, if you want to add an uh, any shape file, okay, shape file means it is a vector file. If you want to add any point line or polygon shape file, also that we can able to add. So suppose I have one. Uh, I'll show you. I have one uh, this Usmanabad district. Uh, let me refresh this. Okay, this shape file I have. Okay, I'm interested to add this shape file in Google Earth Pro. So just go here and just click on the file, open, and from here you can uh, select an E3 shape file. Okay, E3 shape file. Just click on the shape file. You will see the shape file is there. So if you select the all file, you will see the, all the supported files are there. But if you want to, uh, you can select this E3 shape file or otherwise if you will go here and if you select the E3 shape file, you will get only one file there. Okay, E3 shape file. So just need to click on the file open so do you want to add the style template as previously it is asking we click we need to click on yes and just click on yes so you want to change the color and all that use random color and just click on okay where you want to save this it is showing in google earth uh, style template so i will keep by default and i will just click on okay here so see my file is added here this way we can able to add the shape file and if you now if you go here uh, where it is located yeah here it is so if you want to change this color style or anything just click to go on properties you can make it as of outfield and click on ok so this way we can able to add any shape file like point or line or polygon file after that if i'm interested to add uh, this TIFF file. This is actually a geo reference. Okay. I'm interested to add this TIFF file. So same way we can able to add just, we need to go file open and here we need to select a geo TIFF. So if you'll go back, the, my geo TIFF file is here. Just click on open and this will come here actually in the exact location. Just click on the scale. So after that, it will automatically add here. So if I'll make a little bit transparent to it. So just click on OK. So you will see here. If I uncheck, see the this TIFF file is automatically or adjusted to the place where it is belong. Okay. So this way we can able to add Excel sheet, shape file, and GOT file in Google Earth Pro very easily. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comment sections. Thank you.